CPA US to CPA Canada. So many people who are either wanting to pursue CPA US is because they want to go to Canada or they want to go to Canada. That's why they want to do CPA Canada and the fastest way to do that is CPA US. So in this video, we're going to cover why people want to actually pursue CPA Canada. And second, we're going to cover how people are going to go from US CPA to Canada CPA. Okay, let's get into it. So first of all, why do people want to complete CPA Canada? The first reason is because Canada is opening its arms to a lot of people across the world, immigrants across the world, especially those who are specialists in the field of accounting and finance. For that, Canadian CPA is the CA of Canada. So a lot of people feel that if I'm going from a country like India to Canada, I should have the, C the CA version of that country on my CV. That's CPA Canada. The problem is completing CPA Canada directly is a little cumbersome. It's a long, uh, you know, it's three years kind of a duration. Plus you'll have to go uh, most of the time to Canada or another country to give the exams. A very little handholding and support. So a faster way is people complete either ACCA, which for now the I'm going to put it on the side. If any of you want me to cover how ACCA can get us to CPA Canada, please again leave it in the comment. But this video is going to be about how to complete US CPA. US CPA is an amazing course because you can complete the entire program in less than a year or max to max a year. If you complete US CPA, you become a chartered accountant of the superpower of the world, which is US. And that gives you a shortcut to becoming a Canadian CPA. So if your goal is Canada, your goal is to become the CA of Canada, the fastest way is to become a CA of US. That's the reason most people are actually taking this route. Over and above that, you complete one exam, right? CPA US. The duration is short. The exam is relatively manageable for most people, whether you're working or not. Um, and if you do that, you get a value in US and India because that's where it's recognized. But B, you also get immediate recognition in Canada. I think in Canada, they say that US CPA is even more sometimes recognized than the Canadian CPA. So anyways, all pros and cons aside, CPA US seems to be the fastest way to get to Canada. That's the reason people are landing up doing it. Now, what is the process? The process is relatively easy, guys. First, I would recommend a lot of you all to watch our CPA video, which gives you clarity on eligibility and how to actually complete the entire exam. Assuming you've completed CPA or you want to start CPA US, let me tell you what to do, right? CPA US has four exams. To get to Canada, I'm going to lay down the conditions. A, you need to obviously complete all four exams. Second, there is some credit requirement for eligibility, which we will help you with it if you are not sure. But to put it into context, you need something called as 150 credits to be eligible for CPA Canada. 150 credits in Indian terms means each year of a college, right? If you are in BCom, first year, second year, third year are 30 credits, 30 credits, 30 credits. And maybe two years of MCom, first year and second year. So if you have 30 credits into five, that's 150 credits. Or you have 30 credits for BCom and then you are a chartered accountant, which gives you additional credits and you essentially cross 150 credits. So when you're giving US CPA, you only have to complete all four papers and you have to complete your 150 credits. So keep that in mind that when you start CPA, you're already working towards eligibility for CPA Canada. Next, there is something called CPE, Continuous Professional Education, where all professional qualifications like CPA US require you to be up to date with the industry and for that throughout the year they give you few tasks which you'll have to complete quite simple everybody has to do it it's not a big deal as long as you've not messed up over there you've not defaulted over there that's another that's a third condition for you to be eligible for cpa canada the mra there's something called a mutual recognition agreement between us cpa and canadian cpa and there you'll find all these requirements next you need a minimum of 30 months of work experience in, in the relevant field. That means if you are a US CPA, you need around two and a half years of work experience in the field of accounting, which is signed off by a US CPA. Again, we'll help you with all of that. That being said, if you're already qualified and you have a little bit of work experience, you can use only two years, 24 months of your past experience to be eligible for CPA Canada. These conditions make you eligible from US CPA to becoming a Canadian CPA. And lastly, the actual process. I'm going to put a link down here for you guys to visit and see the official website with the actual process. But I'm going to simplify it for most of you guys, right? Break it down into these aspects. 
Number one, you have to make sure that your membership with US CPA is complete. You've cleared all the exams like I was saying, you've completed the work experience, you've not conducted any unethical or any mispractice. So of course, I'm assuming everybody who wants to go to Canada has to have a very clean record. So that is one big thing. Second, you need to provide any and all documents Canadian people would require to ensure that your entire resume, your background, your legal documents all are in place. So any, you know, right from your basics of your address proof and your, you know, ID proof to the fact that uh, you, your entire resume, you know, chronologically from today till the, from, from, you know, backwards, starting from today till whenever you are working, all the things that you've done, everything must be represented or any other things that they'll ask for should be done, which is not that difficult. It's basic. Like US CPA, where you have to select from 55 states and provinces which one you want to start with, you've got to do the same thing with Canada. For this uh, example, let me use this case study of Ontario. If you want to go to Ontario, you've got to register with the Ontario state body in Canada online. That's it's a quite easy, you pay the fees and that's it. If you've met the right requirements and conditions, you've selected the state, you've paid the fees and you provide them everything that they want, they will convert your US CPA into Canada CPA. And that's it. Anything else that is required from your immigration and visa and work over there and all of that, those are all separate conditions, guys. This is the reason, the eligibility and the process of going from US CPA to Canada CPA.